Starting a data science blog on Medium is probably one of the best decisions I've made in my whole life. It upskilled me in my career, opened up so many opportunities, and I even made some money on the side. That's why in this video, I'm going to go over what is technical writing, why you should do it, and how you can start your tech blog today. Let's get into it. Put simply, technical writing or blogging is where you basically write things like tutorials or explainers on technical subjects like coding and maths. Your goal is to basically teach and educate people on these complex topics in a really accessible way. For example, you can write about how to use pandas and Python or how a certain machine learning algorithm works. The detail and complexity you go into is up to you and is often kind of a factor of what the target audience is. If they're more technical, you could dive deep into the maths. If they're less technical and don't have the required knowledge, you could be a bit more high level. Again, it really depends on your writing and basically who you're trying to write for. Technical writing and blogging are very similar, but there is a slight difference if we're being really pedantic. The former is more of a formal profession where there's actually live job roles searching for it. Whereas the latter, the blog, is more of a hobbyist approach. That's also not to say that you can't make a full-time living from writing blog posts. There are many online writers out there who basically make more than the actual job from writing articles online. One of the best examples is the Pi Coach, who consistently made over $5,000 a month back in 2022. Obviously, you shouldn't expect this, and he's clearly an anomaly who's fantastic at writing, but it does go to show you that writing online articles can be very lucrative. So what's the point of having a blog? Well, to be honest, there are both purely altruistic reasons and also ones that are completely selfish. Let me explain. From the purely altruistic perspective, you probably have some specialist knowledge in a certain tech area that other people may benefit from learning from if you write about it. You may also be in a certain tech career, like data scientist, software engineer, and you can probably give pretty good career advice on how to break into these areas and other people can benefit from this. On the more selfish side, writing articles is a good way to push your personal brand and also showcases your abilities to potential employers and interviewers, making you stand out in a job market. It also helps to develop your own skills and abilities because through writing, you gain a deeper understanding of the topic. This is something called the Feynman Technique, where you basically improve your learning and understanding through teaching others. And finally, like I said before, you can also earn some money on the side to supplement your full-time income if that's what you're after. As JP Morgan once said, a man always has two reasons for doing anything, a good reason and the real reason. But to be honest, no matter what your reason is, a blog is something that has potentially a very high reward and pretty much little to no risk. And not to mention all the pros outweigh the cons. And if you are still on the fence, I encourage you to read the book Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. After reading this book, I promise you, you'll run straight to your computer and start writing. Right, we're now at the fun bit where we're going to talk about how can you start your tech blog or become an online writer, but they basically mean the same thing. When I started my blog on Medium, I was just about to begin my first job as a data scientist. So naturally, I wrote about topics like data, AI, stats, maths, just everything that encompasses data science and the role. At the time, I was far from an expert. I mean, I wrote my first article before I even started my job. However, I took the learn and public approach and documented my learnings and understandings as I progressed in my journey. And only recently have I pivoted to doing more career advice topics. But that's after working nearly three years as a data scientist. The point I'm trying to make is that you can literally write about anything, but I do recommend choosing a niche or an area that interests you, or at least you have some experience in. Then you can decide what kind of route you want to take. Do you want to document your learning in public, or do you want to give career advice or kind of give knowledge on areas you already know about? Of course, you can do both like me. And to be honest, it really depends on what stage you are at in your career. After you've narrowed down your niche, it's now time to decide which platform or platforms you are going to write on. One of the most successful online writers, Nicholas Cole, said this. Your blog has no distribution flywheel. A blog is just a website. So the big question is, 
how are people going to find out your website exists? And then he goes on to say, which is why you're so much better off starting your digital writing journey by writing on social platforms like Twitter, Quora, Medium, LinkedIn, basically anywhere readers already are. To expand on this, what Nicholas Cole is basically saying is that you shouldn't write a personal blog on your own personal website, mainly because your personal website would be very hard for you to gain traction on because it needs to rank highly in SEO and that's just very difficult when you have more established sites out there. Whereas if you write on platforms like LinkedIn, Medium, Twitter, just anywhere where there's already like a large audience, you're way more likely to gain kind of support, followers, etc. because people are already on that platform. So when you write there, there's already distribution channels set up to show your work and push it out to the relevant people. So what platform should you choose? Well, if you don't want to write full-blown articles just yet, then LinkedIn or Twitter is by far your best bet. If you want to write full articles, which is what I recommend, you mainly have two options, which are Medium and Hashnode. Hashnode is a lot more developer-friendly and a lot more customizable. So if you prefer that, then Hashnode is a choice for you. However, in my opinion, I really recommend you start with Medium because it's very low friction, it has great distribution channels, and has a massive online community already in the tech space. Towards Data Science is one of the largest publications on the platform, which just goes to show you how many people on Medium are interested in writing tech-based blogs. From a personal point of view, I've been writing on Medium now for nearly three years, and it's truly amazing, and I don't see myself moving to any other platform anytime soon. So now we know what niche we're gonna write in and where we're gonna write. Now it's time to plan our articles for the next few weeks or so. In general, for tech blogs, I have found that there's roughly three types of articles you can write. The first one is career advice. And like its name says, you basically write articles about how to break into the career you're in. So if you're a software engineer, you may write about how do you become a software engineer, software engineer roadmaps, knowledge to become a software engineer, X, Y, Z. Anything around your current profession and advice for new people wanting to break in. The second one is technical breakdowns. This is basically where you create tutorial articles on areas you already know. So for example, you may know how to use Git, create websites, or how to code in Python. And you can write articles about these areas. And finally, the third one, which is the one I started off doing, is document your learning. This is where you basically just write articles about the things you're learning on the side. And by writing articles on things you're learning, you're basically exercising the Feynman technique, where by teaching audiences, you improve your own understanding. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I've done all three in the past, and they all can make for compelling reads. Regardless of your path, you'll quickly realize that writing tech blogs is an example of an infinite game. There's no end destination. You keep playing forever because you simply enjoy it and you enjoy the process. I plan on doing a whole separate video explaining exactly how you can grow your blog if that's something that interests you. However, it always boils down to two main things, which is being consistent and slowly getting better over time. And I know this is obvious, but that is just a brutal truth and there's no way around it. If you want more advice and tips like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Dishna Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, then I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out.